Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. Today we've got a really nice discussion topic about an upgrade that pro players were so wrong about for years. This is probably one of the most incorrect pro opinions that stayed prevalent across pretty much like decades of this game's existence. And I think we're just now starting to get the right idea or the right grip on it. The upgrade I'm talking about is handcart. Now the pro players from like five, 10 years ago, I would say in general, the opinion was that handcart should be picked up on the way up to or somewhere to late castage as soon as you can afford it because the upgrade costed 300 food and 200 wood so it's rather difficult to get it in time it was considered to be a good upgrade but it was also considered uh an extra something that is more of a luxury and not really a necessity you want to pick it up if you can if not just leave it to when you're on the way up to imp and you'll be completely fine this led to a plethora of games in the top level and even in tournaments where pro players would completely forget about handcart not pick it up early not pick it up on the way up to imp and just go like 40 50 minutes even an hour into the game with no handcart on their villagers i don't have to state how bad this is when you're at 140 bills with no handcart you're missing out on so much res collected potential and your economy is going to be in absolute shambles compared to someone who has maybe even slightly less bills but has picked up handcart now i want to break this down and try to understand why pro players had the wrong idea and what is the correct idea regarding handcart in this day and age now the thing is there has been math that have been tackling this topic for a long time now sphere of the law famously has videos about when you should get wheelbarrow when you should get handcart but let's analyze it from a practical sense for this video and leave the math aside just for now i do think math is very important for age of empires 2 uh but math basically slays the ground for the logic and then the logic is what you need to try to apply in a practical game so the math is really what you're basing the logic on and then you're going to try to implement that logic in a real game setting which could be difficult since it is a real-time strategy game but you're definitely going to want to you know squeeze in as theoretically correct gameplay as you can and of course that varies for different levels looking at pro level you can see that most players try to play as perfectly as possible and the handcart situation is definitely one that needed addressing over the last few years so the correct opinion these days amongst most pro players and this is something that i've been very vocal about is that handcart is an absolutely broken technology uh, i don't have off the top of my head the theoretical bill can't you should pick it up but my general rule of thumb is that you want to pick up wheelbarrow somewhere around 14 to 16 farms maybe 18 farms tops then you want to get wheelbarrow in and then after that i think you want to do handcart as soon as you possibly can assuming you've got a multiple tc setup so you want to get to like two or three tcs and then as soon as you can get handcart i think you want to pick it up right around then definitely want to pick it up before clicking up to imperial age unless you're doing some fast imp or some one tc play this is because handcart is absolutely busted as a technology it makes your villagers work at insane efficiency and it also makes them move faster making it easier to hide villagers and to avoid raids so it has a practical application that even math can't calculate and can't see how good it is. Being able to run bills away from raids is something that happens literally every game in a castle situation. If there's any kind of military units on the field, handcart will help and will keep bills out of harm's way. Furthermore, handcart is a faster tech to research compared to wheelbarrow. So picking up handcart is not going to idle or stall your TC out as much as wheelbarrow does in the feudal age. And so handcart is just a smoother technology to pick up in general. And it just feels very natural and very smooth to pick it up right around the 2-3 TC setup as soon as you can afford it. Now, okay, that's the correct stance these days, but let's take a look at back in the day and how come they couldn't get to this conclusion? What was blocking them? What was getting in the way? Well, for starters, it was a lot harder to get a perfect boom or perfect economy management since the game was simply just not as figured out and players were not as proficient. Also, before Definitive Edition, we didn't have all these cool tools like showing the villagers count on every resource up top. We didn't have the cool tools that we have today like auto drop off and all kinds of, you know, select all TCs. The boom was a lot harder it was not as robust as it is today it was not as perfected as it is today and so in general eco balance had a tendency to be a little bit off for the majority of games even at the highest level and even if you had like prime viper against the slightly washed but not too washed doubts you know the, the big matches back in the day they didn't have perfect economy management but they had the best that was considered at the time which was actually very good so without perfect eco balance it was really difficult to squeeze 300 food and 200 wood and just fork that up in castlage so the solution to this was just to pick up handcart on the way up to imperial age and this was because on the way up to imperial age there's not a whole lot going on you already clicked them you're not going to be behind any crucial timings so you just pick up handcart and usually hey you have an 
enough villagers at that point, so it's going to be guaranteed to be worth it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some people even picked it up slightly after imp, after they got the initial army. And this was considered to be a pretty good time to pick up handcart. This solved two things. This gave us a general rule of thumb as to when to get handcart. And it B, didn't make it so we need to squeeze in handcart and have perfect macro in the mid game to be able to afford it. And we kind of avoid any risks of picking up handcart and then needing those 500 resources immediately. Because at the end of the day, it is an investment and it is something that if you pick it up at the wrong time, it could actually cost you the game if a big push is coming your way and they don't have the resources to stop the push. Who cares if our villagers are working efficiently if they're all going to die? And so this was considered a very good rule of thumb and a pretty good theory on when to pick up handcart. And this lasted for a very long time, pretty much until the last couple years where pro players started to realize how good picking up handcart actually is, how good the upgrade is in a practical sense and even in a theoretical sense is just way better than we thought it was. And we've been given it much more priority. So just to recap in today's game, instead of picking up all the way up to Imperial Age or after Imperial Age, most players are picking up as soon as you can afford it. And if you're not doing that, you could be potentially falling behind in your economy and potentially getting less resources collected than your opponent who is doing it. Now that we've talked about handcart and how pros were pretty much, you know, slightly wrong on it, probably the upgrade that the players were the most wrong about over the years, I do want to touch upon what pro players know about the game and how their opinions should be taken into consideration if you're a casual or a new player coming into the scene. So for me personally, I believe that the opinions of pro players should be highly respected and should be sought after. If a pro player says do this or do that, especially the top pros or multiple pros giving the same opinion, it is pretty comfortably or generally speaking going to be the right thing, going to be the correct take, and it's going to be something that you should definitely implement into your own game. However, I also believe that pro players at the end of the day are just humans. They're just humans that have mastered something, are highly proficient at this game or whatever it is that they do. And so they're the experts in the field, but they're at the end of the day, humans. So they could be wrong. Their opinions could change. And so you definitely have to take every opinion, especially the ones where there's controversy or where the opinion of the pro player doesn't match the opinion of math or not the opinion of math, but doesn't match the math, doesn't match the theory. Then you should be a little bit hesitant to accept it as fact right away. I would recommend you do your own digging, try to think about it yourself and come to logical conclusions. And sometimes talking these conclusions out with other people helps everyone arrive at the correct take and the correct final opinion as to where something should land. I'll also say just for example, me myself as a pro player, my opinions have changed drastically over the past few years. What I thought was bad a few, you know, a few years ago, I might have come around at this point. The more experience I gained, the more my opinions shift, the more ideas I craft and you know, the different perspectives I bring to the table. And I've also learned a ton from people, just community members through YouTube comments, through Twitch chat comments, through Discord of people bringing different ideas, new ideas to the table. And me as a pro player saying, hey, that's actually really smart. That's actually a really good idea. Let me look into that. Let me think about that. And I've definitely broadened my perspective on so many different things within this game. Uh, and I think it's made me a better player at, or at least a smarter player at the end of the day, because I've been so considerate about outside opinions. Overall, though, I find it fascinating how the meta continues to to evolve the more we play the more we practice the more we discover new things it's a 25 year old game at this point but there's just so many new things being discovered little tweaks that help make the gameplay better overall and things to think about and i always like to go back a few years see what the history was showing see what used to be and what is now and make those comparisons and i'm not sure if you guys find this interesting but if you guys did like this video make sure to leave a like down below comment if you guys have any other suggestions along the same topic and let me know if you guys noticed this trend about pro players being kind of wrong about handcart all these years it's pretty safe to say that at this point the opinion going around right now is probably the correct one and it actually lines up a little bit more with the theory uh, but who knows maybe in a few years i'll make another video following up and maybe this video would actually be kind of obsolete it's hard to say it's obviously worth keeping in mind a lot of balance changes or quality of life changes and just general updates to the game come in so it's not to say that the pros of five or ten years ago were wrong or, or stupid or anything like that it's not necessarily a mistake on their end it's just that over time we get more perspectives we get different things and it lets us see things potentially a little clearer or a little different. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys did enjoy it, let me know in the comments and I'll do more like this. Peace.